now to the latest on the arena development. The new sports complex is the inspiration behind what is being called the single largest downtown real estate transaction by a single person in more than a decade. A Pennsylvania businessman has bought almost an entire block of Q Street near 12th Street. KCRA 3's Kevin Oliver is live there tonight with reaction from neighbors and what the new owner's plans are for that area. Kevin. Well, they say it's all about location, location, location. Now, this deal includes several empty lots here, an auto shop, and a couple of older homes. What goes in here now, the broker for this deal tells me that's what the new owner is trying to figure out. Going, going, gone. 11 pieces of property were swooped up by a Pennsylvania businessman as the transformation of downtown Sacramento picks up. Dennis Bilo, an artist who lives near the recently sold property, said he is excited about the prospects. I'd very much like to see uh, mixed use uh, housing, quality mixed use housing uh, with commercial on the ground level, something to service this light rail, uh, very important light rail station here. The property now includes a couple of empty lots, an auto shop, and a handful of older homes. The lots were gradually being bought by another developer who decided to sell them all lumped together in one deal so that he could focus on other developments in Elk Grove. The property sits right across the light rail tracks from the historic R Street corridor, where old buildings are being transformed into residential lofts. Patrons say they have high hopes for the area. I think it'd be pretty hip, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I could mean, totally there's the art it. gallery, there's Fox and Goose have some dinner. Dennis Bilo says there are just a few stops on the light rail from where the arena is being built, but the neighborhood has its own charm. It's a very, very nice neighborhood uh, that doesn't have near the problems that uh, north of the capital has. Now the broker for the deal, Robert, uh, uh, the the broker for the deal says the new owner, Robert Porter, is doing now feasibility studies to see what kind of mixed use building would take over this location here. Reporting live from downtown Sacramento, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. Okay, Kevin, thank you.